Hello everybody, Mega Goal number four, three grammar pages eight and nine. Now let's take a look at the objectives. Number one, adjective order. Number two, two and enough. راح نتكلم عن ترتيب الصفات برضو راح نتكلم عن two and enough. Right now, please move on to pages number eight and page number nine. And please follow up with me as I explain this lesson. So we will be looking at three grammar. And just a reminder, this unit is called There is no place like home. Now please move on to pages number three and number, sorry, eight and nine. Now the first thing we will be looking at أول حاجة راح نتكلم عن ال adjective order قبل ما نتكلم عن ال adjective order بس أوضح لكم حاجة إنه ال adjective are words that are used to describe a noun ال adjective اللي هي الصفات عادة استخدمها لوصف الاسم Sometimes they, there are more than one adjective to describe a noun أحيانا يكون في أكثر من صفة لوصف الاسم. These adjectives should go in a certain order. لازم يجون بترتيب معين. Okay, so when we use more than one adjective before a noun, the adjectives go in a certain order. شنو هذا الترتيب؟ نشوفه هنا مثل ما هو معطى عندنا. أول شيء لازم نبدأ بالopinion اللي هي الرأي. For example, this is expensive, difficult, beautiful, nice. بعد هيجي size or the shape, large, round. The age, اللي هو العمر أو العصر, مثل young, old, ancient, whatever. The color, اللي هو اللون. بعدها يكون nationality وأخيراً أخيراً آخر شيء طبعاً the material, the مادة المصنوعة منها مثلاً wooden or glass. So when we have an adjective, more than one, half one, more than one adjective, to describe a noun, we they should go in a certain order. عادة ما نستخدم أكثر من صفة إلى ثلاث صفات لوصف الاسم. Usually, one to three words are used to describe a noun. مو أكثر من ثلاث إلى صفة تصف الاسم. Now let's take a look here and you will know exactly what I'm talking about. Now here we have the house has been put up for sale. Okay. طبعا أول حاجة اللي بصفة اللي بتكلم عن اللي هو الهاوس. فطبعا وصفات تجي قبل الاسم. أول حاجة طبعا beautiful. إذا مثلا عندي هذه الصفات اللي بصف فيها المنزل. أول شي راح أتكلم عن الأوبينيان which is beautiful. طبعا نشوف اللي بعدها هل عندي مثلا هل عندي سايز هل عندي ايج بما ان عندي ايج ففي جي في المرتبه الثانيه طبعا اي دونت هاف كلر اور ناشونالتي فراح يكون عندي ستون which is the material the last thing so you will say the beautiful okay and you remember you should add a comma طبعا old comma stone stone what بعد هالاسم house uh, has been put up for sale. Okay. Now this is regarding the first sentence. Now I have two sofas in my living room. Okay. So I want to describe the sofas. اللي هي sofas. So this is the noun, and the adjective should go before uh, the noun. So I have here brown and large. So the first thing you will be talking about is the size. Okay, or the shape, and then the color. So you will say, I have two, two what? Large, and then comma, brown, brown what? Sofas in my living room. Okay, so this is regarding the first thing. As I said earlier, usually only one to three adjectives are used uh, to describe a noun one at a time يعني ما استخدم اكثر من ثلاث صفات لوصف الاسم عادة now let's move on to the next thing which is two and enough now قبل ما نبدأ ب two and enough I'd like to explain to you the meaning of each one of them معنى كل واحد منهم وليش نستخدمهم the first thing is when do we use two and enough 
or what, why do we use them? ليش نستخدمهم? To and enough, these words are used to indicate a degree, يعني درجة الأمر ما, okay? Or to give more information about the adjective, a noun, or an adverb. أعطي معلومات أكثر عن الصفة, الاسم, أو الحال, الأدفرب, okay? Now, what do we mean by each one of them? As for to, بالنسبة to, now let's take a look at this example. You are too noisy, okay? To means here that you have more than what is wanted or needed. You are too noisy. عادة, يعني أكثر من المطلوب أو أكثر من اللي نحتاجه. عادة, in a negative way, تجي to عادة بطريقة سلبية. Now, as for enough, okay, so the house is cleaned enough. Enough means the amount that we need or we want or the right amount. Enough. يعني بما فيها الكفاية. طبعا تأتي بمعنى إيجابي. Positive. I am good enough. Okay. Now, the negative form of enough معناها عكسها. So, you are not good enough means less than the amount you want or need. خلاص أقل من الكمية المرادة أو اللي تحتاجها. So, this is regarding to and enough. Now, let's take a look at where are they placed in a sentence. أين موقعهم في الجملة؟ بالنسبة to can be placed before an adjective أو الصفة. يعني يجون قبل الصفة أو قبل الأدفرب. So, if we have good and bad as adjectives, you should, you should say too good, too bad. If we have adverbs like slowly and quickly, you should say too slowly or too quickly. Now, let's take a look at these sentences. Okay, you are asked to use too. She cannot reach the shelf. She is short. So, here short is an adjective. And as I said previously, a to to g gabalha. So, it will be, she cannot reach the shelf. She is, okay, she is, and you have to remember at the beginning of each sentence, you should start with a capital letter. She is too short, okay? Now, the other example, you're talking loudly. I cannot hear you. So, loudly here is an adverb, and as I said previously, to should be placed طبعا, before the adverb. So you're talking loudly. So to loudly. I cannot hear the news. Okay. Now let's move on to the next thing, which is enough. Enough, as I explained previously, which means the amount needed or wanted or the exact amount or and the right amount. Usually comes in a positive uh, meaning. بمعنى إيجابي. Now, هي عكس to في المعنى. وبرضو وين تجي قبل uh, عفوا وين تجي مع الصفات ومع الحال تجي بعدهم. So, uh, if we can be placed after. So, here I have good and bad. Enough. بعدهم تجي. Slowly and quickly. Enough. Okay. Is that clear? Now, let's take a look at these examples. And if you are asked to use enough, where should we place enough in a sentence? She can reach the shelf. She is tall. So, here we have tall. It's considered to be an adjective. enough to bad asifa. So, she cannot reach the shelf. She, she is tall enough. Right? She is tall enough. Now, you're talking loudly, okay? Uh, طبعاً, loudly here is considered to be an adverb. And مثل ما قلنا بعد الأدverb. So, you're talking loudly enough. Everyone can hear you. طبعاً, ممكن البعض يسأل uh, إذا مثلاً مو مطلوب مني أستخدم uh, enough. يا أما أستخدم to أو enough. كيف أفرق بينهم؟ طبعاً بالمعنى واضح. Everyone can hear you. الجميع يستطيع سماعك. She can reach the shelf. خلاص يعني تستطيع الوصول إلى الشلف. 
So uh, just this is I wanted I just wanted to draw your attention to this part. Now sometimes enough is used with also nouns to jima al asma. But if we have nouns al asma, مثلاً money, school, house, these are considered to be nouns asma. تجي عادة before قبلهم. خلاص يعني after بعد الأسماء عفوا بعد enough to be بعد بعد ماذا بعد الصفات والحال وقبل الأسماء خلاص so enough school enough house enough money now let's take a look at this example uh, they should buy a house they have money here the noun is uh, money and here Enough should be before the noun. Class, is that clear? Now, sometimes a phrase with two and enough, class, يجي مع phrase, can be followed by infinitive phrase. يجي بعدهم infinitive phrase. أنتوا عارفين طبعا infinitive اللي هي two و الفعل في المصدر. To go, to eat, to meet, whatever. خلاص نشوف الأمثلة. You are too sick. We جي بعدها followed. Followed يعني بعدها. You are too sick to leave the house today. You are not well enough to go to work today. Anyways, so is that clear? So this is regarding to and enough. And right now, let's move on to the exercises and let's check if you have understood what I have explained to you so far. Now, please move on to page number eight and let's take a look at uh, the exercise letter A. أول حاجة لما يكون عندنا أي تمرين لازم نقرأ التمرين كويس ونعرف شو المطلوب منه. You are asked to rewrite each sentence putting the adjectives in the correct order and you add commas where necessary. مطلوب إن إحنا نعيد كتابة الجمل ونحط طبعا ترتيب الصفات بالترتيب الصحيح وطبعا إضافة فاصلة مثل ما هو مطلوب So I have answered this exercise earlier just to save time فقط أذكركم بالترتيب الصفات اللي هي لازم opinion, size, shape, age, color, nationality and material فأنتوا الوا... شنو راح يسوي الشخص شنو راح تسوون راح تنظرون إلى الصفات وتحددون نوعها هل هي material هل هي age هل هي color in which category uh, each word falls under يعني إيش تصنيفها now our new apartment is a brick small building طبعا you are describing the building أول حاجة راح تبدؤون بسمول الحجم بعدين brick اللي هو material خلاص wonderful all uh, Persian, يعني بس عشان و... يعني الوقت. And I'm gonna go through it through this exercise very quickly. Enormous new, ugly brown velvet, lovely yellow silk. طبعا لازم تكتبون اللي أنتوا تصفونه طبعا. Lovely yellow silk curtains. Okay, large formal dining room, beautiful old wood. Now old fashioned. This is an opinion. Small orange wet bathroom. طبعا comforting a light blue what color uh, the last one nice اللي هي opinion large size American family عائلة okay so this is regarding uh, this part and you can rewrite the sentences in your notebook okay now let's move on to exercise letter B we have here a list of things and you are asked to use the words to write Complaint using two and one complaint using enough. راح نكتب شكوى يعني باستخدام two أو enough. طبعا enough أنا قايلة لكم إنها تجي بمعنى إيجابي فلما مثلا أبي أقصد بها معنى غير إيجابي بتكون not بعدها ال adjective بعدها enough. خلاص not good enough. Anyways. طبعا عندكم ال list of them some of things and I have answered them earlier we can just go through them uh, in brief so the lobby is too dirty it isn't clean enough okay the walls are too thin they aren't thick enough the neighbors are too inconsiderate they aren't considered enough 
the neighbors talk too loudly. بإمكانك أن تستخدم يا إما the neighbors talk too loudly or they do not talk softly enough. The painter painted too carelessly. He wasn't careful enough. The bed is too soft. It isn't firm enough. The atmosphere is not, uh, is, sorry, is too unfriendly. It isn't friendly enough. The bus stop is too far. It isn't close enough. طبعا, this is exactly to the point when I said that usually we use to in a negative way. يعني لما أنت مثلا راح تمدح شيء أو تمدح شخص ما تقول he is too friendly because this is, is considered to be uh, inaccurate. غير صحيحة فتقول he is friendly enough or he is so friendly instead. Anyways, فتو عادة معناها يعني سلبي طبعا enough إيجابي بس not enough معناها طبعا not العكس يعني منها Now let's take a look at exercise letter C You are asked to complete each sentence with an infinitive لازم تعرفون معنى الانفنتيف which is to plus the verb with no ending or to plus the base form of the verb I am not tall enough to be a basketball player I am tall enough to reach the top shelf. I am not tall enough to see over the fence. I am too young to vote in the election. أنا صغير جدا عشان إني أصوت في الانتخابات. I am old enough to make my own decision. I don't have enough money to buy a car. I speak enough English to order food in a restaurant. Now, right now, we have reached the end of the lesson. I hope that you have enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe, share this video with your friends, and hit the like button. Till next time, have a good one.